Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to see how easy it is to generate a report in SSRS uh, from live data coming from SharePoint uh, using a tool called SQList Manager. Now, as you know, SSRS is one of the most commonly used reporting tool, uh, especially when it comes to generating reports from SharePoint, but normally it's not really that easy to get the data from SharePoint, especially when we are talking about live data. So to start off, uh, we are going to use a product list in SharePoint. As you can see, I have few products in here and all these products belongs to categories and each category belongs to a category group. Uh, so for, for this demo, we are going to generate a report uh, which shows total uh, current stock and total price uh, based on category groups. Right, so let's get into it. Uh, to start off, we first we are first going to create a new database in SQL Server, which we are going to use for replication later on. So let's call this de CO demo SSRS. Oops, a typo. Right. So we're going to use this database to generate our report, but first we need to get the data from SharePoint into this database. So Let's get to our favorite tool, SQLs Manager, and let's create a new replication. So we are going to use a new SharePoint connection. We're going to give it a connection name. Let's call it SharePoint connection. All right. So the table prefix here, we need to give give a table prefix which will be used when the tables are generated so that it's easy for us to uh, uh, to understand which table belongs to which list right so now we need to give it a URL which is to our SharePoint site where all the three links three lists are created right so we have to make sure that it's the right URL now we're going to use the username and password which should be the one that has access in SharePoint right so let's test the connection it should be working fine let's give it a moment make sure it works voila our test is successful now let's move on uh next step is to select the lists so here we have two options and we are going to use the default option which allows us to select the lists right so we have all the lists which are available here but we are going to use three lists categories category groups and products right so next step is to create a database connection which is the which is the server which is the same server to which uh, uh, where we created our database so let's go back see what's the name of the server quickly get it from here beautiful and for the database name, we are going to use the database name which we just created. All right, for we are going to use the same username which we are using here. and let's just oh we need to provide a domain as well let's me get the domain which is the name of this computer all right let's test it now woohoo we are all good to go and let's give this replication a name oh. replication right that's it now since we kept that check so that means that it should start our the SQList manager service as well so let's go here see if 
okay so this has been started and if now if we go to the sql server we should be able to see that all the it has few tables along with the tables that uh, we selected so let's just refresh and make sure that we have all the tables that we need for this and it seems like we do all right so for ssrs we need to have a view in our database in order to generate a report so let's quickly create a view i'm going to use this sql for generating my view let me select my database which is this one all right um and let's run it good so now that now a view is created in our database now we have the database we have the view next step is to generate the report so let's go to let's open up report builder which is normally used for generating reports in ssrs and we are going to use a chart wizard right so we're going to create a new data set and we are also going to create a new data source and our data source is basically the sql server which we just used for creating database and for creating replication as well right so let's get the server name again from here right it's trying to fetch all the servers which is not right okay and i'm going to use sql server credentials which is um, which is normally you should use that when you are generating reports in SSRS so that SSRS can easily integrate with SQL Server. But you can also try using Windows Authentication as well, which I presume should work. But you may need to create an OLEDB connection for that. Okay, but for this demo, we're just going to stick with the SQL Server credentials. And Right, so we're going to use SQL Server credentials here, keep my password, and we're going to use the SSISDB which we just created. Test connection, it works, let's go. Okay, now we have our data source configured. Next step is to select the view that we created. So this is the view which we created. Let's step through it. Now let's create a column, um, column type of chart. All right, here we need to specify the categories, which is our category group, and the values, which is our total price and total stock. And that should do the trick. Now, we can do it either ways. Either we can put it here. We can see how it will show the, show the report, which is not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put it in category and and yeah this is more this is more of what i'm looking for so let's go with that Click okay this should run fine and let me run it now oh here you go we have generated our report which seems to be okay and let's just save it up and publish this report as well so we can call it products total by category right let's save it right once we have saved it now we can publish our reports now if you have generated multiple reports then you can publish all of them together as well seems to be an error let me go to my SSRS and see what seems to be the problem here. All right, so our, our report is here. Let's see if it opens up fine. All right, so our report has been published. Uh, there may have been some issue, but it is sorted out. Report is published and we can see our data. Now let's go back to products and let's see if our replication is synchronizing properly. So let's create a new item. And this should be reflected in our report so let's say we want to we want to increase digital products total stock so let's 
buy a digital product so any digital product will do let's say health and personal care let's say we are buying vitamins which are priced at 20 and we are going to buy them a lot because there's a Christmas sale going on so we know we are going we are buying health and personal care and that should be enough right so now that we have created a new item this should be synchronized with our database and should be reflected in our report so let's see it might take a few seconds but uh, shouldn't take too long ah all right we have done it we now we can see that all our changes are synchronized in runtime and we can see it in our report as well so there you go and just to make sure let's just delete this item to see if replication is working even when we delete the items and the synchronization should reflect this result as well so we should go back to our original report in a few seconds ah here we go all right so that's it guys this is uh, a quick one to show you how you can generate a report in ssrs uh, from sharepoint lists using sqlist manager hope it helps take care